What is going on guys, this is Kyle from the Shadow Realm TCG and today I'm going to be bringing you my zombie deck profile, Pure Zombies. It's a really fun build and it's based off the um, the structure deck that literally dropped today. So um, I, you know, I got out of school, out of college and I immediately drove to pick them up, which is kind of a drive actually. So um, this, uh, this video is going to be kind of late and because I still have to edit it too. So uh, just uh, bear with me, but um, I assure you this deck is very fun. I even play tested it before I made this video, and it's still pretty powerful. So we're going to go over that, and um, if you have any comments, suggestions, leave those down below. We always appreciate it. But without further ado, let's go right into the deck tech. So this card was previously pretty uh, expensive, like 8 bucks or something. But uh, yeah, you're going to need three Sharing New Solitaire to start off our list. Um, the reason it's so good is because it is a Unizombie. So here's our three Unizombies. So what um, Sure New Solitaire does is you contribute it and then summon one zombie tuner with zero defense from your deck. So that's him. And of course you contribute himself So because it just says one zombie. Um, his other effect doesn't really matter, but um, Unizombie is your, your real starter card. So what he does is um, both of these effects are only once per turn, hard once per turns. So what you do is you either Foolish Burial, a zombie, or you discard a zombie, and you can boost um, a zombie's attack on the, or boost a zombie's level by one. So you can make him a level four and then a level five, and you're milling and discarding. Uh, that's what you really want to do with this guy, because this gets you to mill Mizuki and stuff. So, and, you know, just basic zombie engine stuff here. So we got uh, six unit zombies, technically. Next, you got the three Armageddon Knight. This guy is still very relevant. Um, he cannot mill Mizuki. Um, don't forget that. Um, I forgot it sometimes. So, just just warning you, he cannot mill Mizuki because Mizuki's an Earth. Um, but he becomes a zombie when a Zombie World is on the field. So if you bring him back, you can just keep milling. So really cool, really good mill card. You want to mill um, different things to special summon with this guy speak of the devil three mizuki um this guy's absolutely broken you can just banish him from your graveyard and target one zombie in your graveyard and special summon it uh not once per turn uh neither is armageddon knight armageddon knight is also not once per turn um whenever you summon you just mill so but yeah none of these are once per turn so uh you can do some pretty wacky combos with him because um, you can just keep using and abusing this card you can just keep bringing him back and it's uh that's what zombies do, they come back. So now we have the main searcher of the deck, the three goblin zombie. Uh, another not once per turn card. Um, when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can mill them, you know, not whatever. But when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one zombie with 1200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Um, that includes him, which is, I guess, kind of useful, but I don't know, you're mainly using this for your next turn to get um, like another Unizombie or something, or if you didn't even normal summon yet, you can bring him back and then um, you know, link off or something with him, and then um, get your Unizombie normal summon Unizombie. Keep going. So, and if you keep doing it, he, you know it's not once per turn, so you can just keep doing that. Pretty cool. So that does it for the three ofs. We're gonna go the two ofs. This is the new guy, and he is very very good. Um, the two Doom King. Ballardrock, I think that's how you say it. But yeah, he's a 2800 beater. Um, during your standby phase, if a card is in the field zone, or is in a field zone, and this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon him in defense position. So really cool. He just keeps coming back like zombies do. Um, and then once per chain, um, you can apply one of these effects, so you can quick effect. Uh, you can't do... So they're each once per turn, I guess you could say. Um, one of them, whenever a zombie activates its effect, you can negate it. And the other one is whenever a zombie activates its effect, you can banish a card or banish a monster on the field or graveyard. This is really important because if you have zombie world on the field, everything becomes a zombie. So you can just negate and banish your opponent's stuff. And it's really cool. And he's a 20, uh, did I mention he's a 2800? He's a 2800, so um, pretty good boss monster. Now, to help get um, Zombie World on the field, we're going to want the two Necro World Banshee. Of course, this isn't the only way to get Zombie World on the field, but uh, it's another new card. 
Um, if it's in, um, wait, uh, zombie world in the field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects, and neither player can target it. Um, it's not too too important, but um, basically, when this card is in, uh, you can banish it from your field or graveyard, and you can activate zombie world from your hand or deck. So um, you usually mill this just as a safe, a safe bet, so that when they do destroy it you can just quick effect banish and um, bring another one back so really cool level four um it has 200 defense so it is searchable with with your boy goblin zombie uh next these are all one ofs oh i just threw that card sorry next we got the one zombie master this card's really good and i didn't know they i didn't know they reprinted it so i got the original printing but yeah they they reprinted it so it's pretty good uh, basically, as a, this is actually once per turn effect, so, you know, rest assured. But basically, um, you send one monster from your hand to the graveyard and special summon one level 4 or lower zombie from either player's graveyard. Yeah, the ability to discard a zombie, really, really um, beneficial. Next, you got the one Gozuki. When he's on the field, once per turn, you can just Foolish Burial a zombie, so pretty cool. But um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, doesn't specify where, so you can, if it's milled, if it's discarded, you can banish one zombie from your graveyard except himself, and then special summon a zombie from your hand. And it doesn't specify a level, so you can actually special summon the boss monster with this guy. It's a really, really cool effect. Uh, next you got the one Distrudo, the Lost Dragon's fr um, Frishin? I think that's how you say that, anyway. Um, this guy's kind of got a lot of long effect, but um, basically he just comes back once per turn um, from the graveyard or your hand um, with the cost of paying half your life and targeting a monster you control and then you, a level 6 or lower monster you control, and then you just subtract his level by that level and you subtract his level by the level of the monster and then you special summon him. And he's a tuner, so you can actually have some fun with this. And he, he's level 7. Um, he's level 7, yeah. So, um, again, some really cool modulation there you can do with that. Uh, you do play some synchros, so. Next, you got the one glow-up bulb, because you, you kind of need it. Um, it's a it's a zombie in the graveyard, which is cool, if zombie world's on the field. But, um, you know, he's a level 1 tuner. He can just come back once per duel um, by milling a card. So, you know, pretty cool. Next, you got the new card, the uh, the Glow Up Bulb Retrain, I guess you can call it, Glow Up Bloom. They fixed it because he's actually a dark attribute, which means he's mill he, you can mill him with um, with uh, Armageddon Knight. Really cool. I'm if this, um, I'm gonna play test with this. Uh, maybe bumping him up, and then bumping up the boss monster because when he's sent from the from the when he's sent to the graveyard, you can banish him from the graveyard and then add one. Of the boss monsters, well, you're, it's a level five or higher, but you're, it's going to be the boss monster. Um, but if Zombie World's on the field, you special summon it instead. So that's really, really cool. Um, I only run one because uh, the, the boss monster just comes naturally most of the time. So, but um, if if you're, if I really wanted to cheat him out, this would be the guy. I'd probably take out um, Bulb and Destrudo. Or maybe just maybe just a Strudo and then add another Glow Up Bloom, but you know this is all your decision. And he is a tuner, so again, pretty cool. And he's a zombie, which he's basically just Glow Up Bulb, but just way better in this deck. So, all right, that does it for the monsters. Let's go on to the spells. I don't have any traps, so we're just doing spells here. We got the three Book of Life, another not once per turn card, um, but it has an interesting condition. So. You have to special summon, well, you special summon one mo zombie from your graveyard, and then you have to banish something in your opponent's graveyard. Um, uh, banish a monster. Yeah, that can't be anything. So if they didn't, if they don't have a monster in your graveyard, so if you're going first and this is in your opening hand, kind of feels bad. So, um, I mean, of of course, people will probably have um, hand traps, so you can bait those out and then use that if you want. Pretty cool. Here we have a pretty crucial card, actually, because it brings back a lot of your plays. We got the three burial from a different dimension. Uh, this card's actually nuts, and it's not semi-limited anymore. I think it was uh, a couple ban lists ago or something. But yeah, you can run this at three now, not once per turn. 
you can target up to three banished monsters and then return them to the graveyard. So you can see how this can get pretty gross, especially if you use Mizuki. You just keep bringing Mizuki back. Um, so yeah, even if you only have one of these and two Mizukis, you're still able to just link off and then bring those back. And it's just really good. So definitely want to run those. And then finally, the, the card itself, Zombie World. All monsters on the field and in the graveyard become zombies. And then it has uh, another effect. Neither player can tribute summon monsters except zombies. Um, which is actually kind of cool because in the hand they're not zombies, so, you know, I guess it stops monarchs, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, you, you need this. You really need this on the field, which is why we run some other things to make sure that gets on the field. Um, you need it not only for the control for your boss monster, but you also need it for Mizuki's um, um, ability to bring back a bunch of stuff. So, so speaking of getting that spell, you're going to run two terraforming because you can only run two. Um, just easier access. You got the two Allure of Darkness. Um, this card's just for card draw, to be honest. And uh, honestly, banishing stuff, since you can bring them back most of the time, doesn't really hurt you. Um, now for one ofs, you got the one Foolish Burial. This card is insane in this deck because your your graveyard is basically your deck in this in this deck. <laughs> so you got the one for one. Um, the ability again to basically discard a monster is really cool, and then you can special summon um, Glow Up Bulb or Bloom from your deck. Pretty cool. And finally, the thing that's now off the ban list, yay, is uh, card destruction. Really, really good in this deck because you discard um, all your cards and then draw that many. So um, I actually did this recently when my opponent had no cards in hand. So that felt uh, felt pretty bad um, on their part. So, but yeah, other than that, like just discarding and then drawing a bunch of cards, really, really powerful. Um, it's an unsearchable one of though, so I guess it's balanced in that respect. Anyway, let's go on to the extra deck now. Because I love the extra deck. Next, you got the one Link Kribo. I think this is also a meme. Because I think he's in every single one of my decks. I just see him a lot. Because it, it, it lets you put Glow Up Bloom in the graveyard easily. So that's why you, ha that's a, that's why you have that. And you can also do um, Glow Up Bulb, too. Next, this card is very awesome. Two Vampire Sucker. Um, the reason this is so awesome because it's not part of the vampire archetype, really. Um, it's a generic link monster for zombies. Really cool. Um, it has a few effects. So if you would tribute a monster for your tribute summon, you can tribute a zombie monster your opponent controls, even though you did not control it. So this is really cool because if you have the boss monster in your hand and, you know, you didn't normal summon, you can just tribute their stuff and bring out the boss monster. Because he can be normal summon, so really, really cool. So it has two other effects that are once per turn. So you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it in defense position, and it becomes a zombie. Um, that doesn't really matter because it'll, it'll probably be a zombie anyway. Um, and the second one, if a zombie monster is special summoned from either graveyard, you draw a card. So the reason this is cool is because it gains you advantage, even though if, even though it is once per turn, it gains you advantage over time. So during your turn. You can use Mizuki, draw a card, and then end your turn, and during their standby phase, bring back the boss monster, draw another card. It's really, really good. Um, it is kind of weak, though, 1600, so just be, be careful for that. Next, you got the two We, Went we Witches Apprentice. Um, you don't go into this too much because you kind of want to go into the sucker, but uh, this is another option for two dark monsters. You can send them to the graveyard and then give all dark monsters plus 500. Again, not exactly the best in all scenarios. Really good if you're going against the light deck, so pretty good. Um, and then when it's sent from the field, when it's sent from the field by battle or card effect, you can target one dark monster in your graveyard and put it into your hand. So you know, whatever. Pretty good. Next, we got the a very small nightmare engine. Oh. We got Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Cerebus. Uh, both of these are very good. And I, I see people saying Cerebus isn't that great anymore, but he, he's still pretty good. I think he's still pretty good. So we're, we're going to keep going with him. Um, Phoenix, 
really helps for the spell and trap removal mostly so now for the higher links we have the boar load you going into him's pretty okay you got saryuja this guy really good to go into drawing those cards uh extending your plays and if you use him with um goblin zombie you can actually chain goblin zombie and then add um you know a zombie from your deck to your hand and then you can use Saryuja's effect to special summon him. So I actually don't use him for his fourth effect, or for his plus four effect for drawing. I don't use it that much, um, only because it's kind of difficult to pull off sometimes, because you you just go into Vampire Sucker a lot. And if you bring this out and special summon from the hand, you can gain advantage that way too. So, and then the last Link monster is Firewall Dragon. Still in the game. Um, he's really good. <laughs> in case you didn't know, there's no broken combos with him in this deck, um, at least as an, as an FTK, but, you know, he's still a good Link monster. All right, the rest of these are Synchros, so let's go right into that. So we have level six, Coral Dragon. Uh, recently got reprinted in the Hero deck, so it's actually really accessible now. It's like a few cents. It used to be like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, so it's really cool. It is a tuner, so just remember that. So you, you can use it to go into other things, so it's pretty cool. Um, it just needs a tuner and non-tuner. Once per turn, you can discard a card and then target one card your opponent controls and then destroy it. So um, again, discarding. Really powerful in zombies. And then if this Synchro Summon card on your field is sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card. So um, if you link off with it, you can draw a card. Really, really cool. It's a 2400 too, so... Not bad. Next, we got the new boss monster. I only won one, though. Uh, Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon, level 7. Really cool. It gains 100 attack for each zombie on the field and in the graveyard. So, with Zombie World, pretty good. And when another zombie monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one zombie monster from either graveyard to your field. So, if you use him or any other thing else to do some, do some combat damage, then you can special summon. And if you have Vampire Soccer, you get to draw cards, so not bad. Next, you got the one level eight, or actually one of the level eights, um, Omega. Uh, you just need him. You can only run one of him, which is unfortunate, but I can understand. He's pretty powerful. Uh, just doing this first turn with um, Unizombi and Mizuki is really, really cool. So pretty cool combo, getting him out very easily. Um, so... Yeah, I don't think he needs too much explaining. Next, we got another level 8, uh, Shiranui Shogun Saga. I think that's how you say it. Um, it needs a zombie tuner and a non-tuner zombie. So, it only it's only zombies, so just saying. Um, if this card is special summoned, so it doesn't even have to be synchro summoned, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard, and this gains attack equal to that attack until the end of the turn. And um, if this card is destroyed by battle card effect, you can target one of your banished zombies with zero defense, return to the graveyard. Um, doesn't work with um, with uh, Ye uh, Mizuki, but you know whatever. It's it be, it's it's base three thousand, so you can get this easily to five thousand um, with cards. So really really cool, especially if you banish your boss monster, make him huge, and then use burial to bring him back. So pretty cool combo. And then finally, the Trishula, level 9, one tuner and two non-tuners. Uh, she's pretty busted. I th she's at one as well. <laughs> so uh, when it's synchro summoned, you can banish up to one card from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard. Uh, the hand's chosen at random. So uh, again, really, really powerful card. You can actually go into it a lot more than you think, um, even if it has the two non-tuners. So, But yeah, that, that wraps up the extra deck, actually. And that wraps up the deck. What did you guys think? Did you did you like it? And do you have any ideas for me? If you do, leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you have your own zombie deck, I'd love to see it. Just um, either leave it down below or check out our Reddit and uh, you know send us a little message there. We also have a Twitter. Um, uh, you probably saw it at the beginning of the video, but you know, just saying, trying to get our trying to get our channel out there. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next deck profile or duel or whatever. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to